Well, as you can see, we've got the steering wheel and the dashboard yarded out, and we're down here getting to these dip switches. But since I don't know, since my set of dip switches don't line up with anything that the forums show on Steel Soldiers as being original, factory original, I'm going to go ahead and pull this bracket so we can just slide the, the speedometer out the front, button up the dash, put the steering wheel back on. We'll set the dip switches to the what I think is the closest measurement for the 307s. And then we'll just put the, the truck on the road and see what the speedometer comes up with. And then we'll just tweak it from there. Because, well, you know, I don't know. To save you some sanity, this is a close-up of the factory settings on my truck where I started from. And this is what those settings equate to on the video chart. There's a link down below to the blog post I wrote up for all the math and how I came up with these calculations. And why they're garbage. There. Now we have that bracket off, we can just... Pull it out, flip it over, check the dip switches, shove it back in, take it for a test drive. So let's get the steering wheel on there and get this thing on the road. Okay, let's start uh, by setting the dip switches, which is one, on, on, off, off. All right. Let's give that a go. Let's see what happens. Throw our GPS on there. Geeper. There we slow. So, let's see if we can switch these. Or if I have to restart the truck. So, lower settings should go increase less. Okay, so what's the verdict? Well, we tried the settings that the calculations came up with. We tried the settings that the Steel Soldiers guys came up with. None of them actually worked. So, if you want to know, for a 2003 1078 A1 with 307 gearing 
and it has to be pretty much this truck. <laughs> These are the settings. So that's it. Let's uh, button this thing up, call it a day. We're actually, we got this thing pretty much dialed in. It's perfect at uh, 70 miles an hour, which I would not recommend ever driving this thing at 70 miles an hour. It's exact at 60 according to the GPS, exact at 40 according to the GPS, all the way down to 20. And then once I get below 20, my GPS doesn't seem to be close enough and it's kind of erratic. So it doesn't really tell me how close I am uh, within a few. I mean, it's within a few miles an hour. But uh, yeah, and uh, it always reads 12 miles an hour until I turn on the truck and then it goes to zero. So yeah. All right. All right, guys. Well, Thanks for joining. Hope you learned something. I'll do a write-up on this in the uh, BrokeOverland.com blog page so that uh, you guys have the actual settings um, that you can see. So anyways, hope you like this one. Hope you learned something. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Okay, so what's the verdict? Well... The uh, settings that we tried, that were the calculated settings, did not work. So for a, ow. Stand by.